it's working. Okay, good. Hi, my name is Barry Selby. This is episode number 632. This is a handheld broadcast, that's why it's jiggling so much. Uh, I didn't bring my tripod with me. Um, I'm at the Conscious Life Expo um, Saturday and want to take a final space. I could do a quick Facebook Live to keep my commitment to myself and to my audience to talk about some things of value, which is why today's topic, which is episode 632, as I mentioned, is. Um, do you value your life? A deeper, a deeper conversation, because this is something I was talking to a friend of mine about earlier today. We, we've been, ha we've had a long, um, I say this, it's been a long day. <laughs> so I thought I'd do a quick broadcast just to throw some thoughts out to you to think about um, on this weekend. If, I, if you're in LA, it still goes on tomorrow. If you want to come join the Conscious Life Expo at the uh, Hilton Los Angeles Airport. I won't be here tomorrow, I'll be at Agape as usual, but I wanted to at least uh, talk about some things. And the thing that was up for me with a conversation with a friend of mine today was about valuing herself. She's, I mean, she was going through this challenge about one, wanting to be here, and two, choosing a relationship that would match who she is because the thing was that was sharing. Oh, I'm jumping ahead of myself. Let me back up and say hi, my name is Barry Selby. <laughs> I totally missed that. I'm a best-selling author, speaker, excuse me, best-selling author, inspirational speaker, and relationship attraction expert. Um, passion champion for the divine feminine, which is why I help women create balance in love, life, and business. And why these talks are called messages for the masculine to inspire your feminine heart. This episode, I'm 632, as I mentioned. So, hey, good to see you. Thanks for being in my broadcast. Um, and so the topic today, again, is do you value your life? And I mean this from the point of view of do you choose what you deserve? Do you commit to what you want? And do you hold out for the best? That's really what I'm asking you. Okay, I'm done, bye. No, <laughs> let's talk about this a bit more. So I was in a conversation with a friend of mine um, a little bit earlier, who was on my, on my mind now. Talking about some of the stuff she went through when she was younger and realizing that, and in the conversation it felt to me, and I'm using my own interpretation, not necessarily what she said, because it was a private conversation, um, that there was this piece inside of her that wasn't um, you're trying to, trying to what, I'm not sure what you're asking. Um, oh, by the way, if you're watching this on YouTube, this is Facebook Live first, which is why I'm talking to somebody you can't see. Um, I was trying to value your life, yes, me, let me say, sorry, thank you, you gave me some, a nudge, thanks for that, I appreciate it. So to give you something to think about, whatever people have told you, particularly family members, particularly fathers and particularly mothers, if it wasn't supporting you and inspiring you, then it wasn't accurate. I'll say that again. If you had people around you as adults, like when you were a child, mothers, fathers, uncles, aunts, who didn't tell you positive, inspiring, uplifting, challenging things that make you feel better, then they were lying. Is that making the point? You know, change hands. I was getting a bit tired holding that up. The reason I'm saying it that way is because many of us, sorry, I'm trying to position myself on the camera so I look like I'm in the middle of the screen, there we go. Um, the lesson I keep wanting to remind people of is that what we were told when we were younger is not really about who we are. What we're told when we were younger is what the people who are telling us are feeling for their own lives. So as a child, if your parents were giving you abusive feedback or were not pleasant to you or not happy with you, that was their stuff, not yours. It is not your job to fix them. It is your job to take care of yourself. And this is my point about holding out for the best and standing up for yourself, is that you deserve a lot more than maybe you've given yourself credit for because the world wasn't built for you the way you thought, because the way that people created life for you. Because the thing is, as a kid, we didn't have autonomy necessarily. We were basically believing what we were told because good children listen to their parents and that sort of stuff. But when your parents aren't the most positive, uplifting, inspiring people, it can be pretty challenging. So my point I wanted to make sure you get, and it's going to be a short broadcast because first of all, I am home holding this, and secondly, I'm in the back hallway being busy by the moment and I'm no longer going to have privacy, is the recognition that our choices of relationship, our choices of what we want in life, our choices of what we deserve in life are really up to us, not what we were told. And what you were told by, again, the older people around you when you were a kid, is all their projection, all their stuff. 
And so if, you, if they say to you like you never, uh, never amount to anything, that's not true. That's what maybe they did. Or maybe what they think that is true of you is not accurate. Well, it's up to you. I should say what you can do is up to you. So that mindset of, oh, you don't deserve it, or you can't have it because you won't get it, you won't be able to take care of it, or you're not good enough to have it, that's all bullshit, to be blunt. It's an absolute reminder, simply put, that what you are um, worthy of is up to you. There's no standard, there's no qualification, there's no rules, there's no competition. You deserve the best in your life if you allow it to be. That's all I want to say, really. That's, that's the point, that's the gist, that's the summary. So uh, thank you for watching. I'm, I'm at the hotel and I'm actually glad I got signal because I was trying to find a place where I could get Wi-Fi signal um, before I head out. So I want to get this done quickly whilst I'm still in the mood for it. A bit later than usual, as I mentioned. Um, tomorrow maybe a little bit earlier. We'll see. This is, it's a very interesting weekend this weekend. So my Facebook lives have not been at the usual time. So if you haven't watched my Facebook live before, I do go live normally at 5 p.m. Pacific time on my personal page on Facebook, which is facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby. On my business page, I put the archives, the replays, which is facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby dot author. And then I also put them onto YouTube and on my, um, on my YouTube channel, which is my name, Barry Selby, please subscribe to that. You'll find my Facebook lives recorded there in YouTube format um, under messages from the masculine. And finally, I have a podcast on iTunes, which is also called Messages from the Masculine. You can subscribe to that and you'll find the audio replays of my earlier broadcasts. If you're stuck in this one, you have some challenges, I'm going to leave a link in the comments later on, which will be so be a link to have a discovery, to have a conversation with me. Because if you're challenged by this and you want to really sort this out once and for all, I can help you. I've had lots of skills and training and learning over the years to let me help people remember who they really are so they can get what they really want. If that's where you feel you want to be, I can help you. So with that, I thank you for watching. I'm back in tomorrow. I think that's everything I need to say. Yeah. Short broadcast, I know, but I wanted to get the points out before I get back to the action, before I head out. I've got lots of stuff going on tonight. And uh, thanks for being with me. I will see you again tomorrow. Take care. Bye.